Hey everyone, welcome back to my Bit Get Get Educated series. Today we're going to talk about a pattern that's often misunderstood and misused. But before we get into that, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Bit Get for sponsoring this awesome YouTube series. I have quite a few videos on different trading patterns and um, different ways to use analysis to make money in the market. So make sure you check out all the videos um, if you want to try out Bit Get Exchange. I've been using them for about half the year now and um, mobile app is great. Everything has been working well. Uh, I just started a new trading group. If you guys want to join it, it's completely free. Um, you can click on, you can go to tradingeducation.io. I will have a link in the bio below. You can check it out. You can join the free trading group on Telegram, um, or if you just want to use uh, the BitGet exchange, you can sign up with the referral link below and get a discount on trading fees. All right, so now let's talk about the pattern I mentioned before. We're going to talk about how to trade and understand cup and handles. All right, this is a cup and handle here. And what you're going to see is, all right, you're going to see a very nice distinct uptrend and then a nice rounded bottom a handle and then a breakout okay um, and the problem is a lot of people don't use these in trending markets they like to use them opposite or in chop and the the point here is it's continuation pattern so what you're going to see here is you're going to see a very distinct up move okay from price which is going to be an uptrend right price is going to be moving up making higher highs higher lows that is an uptrend then you're going to see a pullback and that is where you get your cup and then this is where you get your handle, okay? And a lot of times it's gonna look just like that and you're gonna have price hitting resistance here, such as this. And basically you're just gonna wait for a breakout. Now in the example I showed, we can go back to that maybe, um, you see that this is a, the cup, nice rounded bottom, and then your handle actually is kind of like a bull flag or a bull pennant, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and it's a nice consolidation and that breaks out initially, which leads to the actual cup and handle pattern breaking out. So let's draw that again real quick. Okay, so we're gonna have that uptrend. We're gonna have our rounded bottom. All right, we're gonna reject that resistance, get a nice lower high here um, and a breakout. And that's what you wanna see for a trend continuation and you're gonna see price hopefully continue higher. Your breakout point here, okay, this is basically how you would enter. Let me find my correct tool. Okay, so once it breaks out, you should get a retest. That's where you would enter. And then you would obviously look for your target, which we will talk about here in just a second. You're going to want to take your tool here. We always should use this tool when you're trading, in my opinion, so you can see your risk reward. And our stop is gonna be below the bottom of this uh, low, okay? And then your target is going to be the distance from the bottom of this cup to the resistance, to the top of that cup, okay? So for this one, your breakout would look like this. Your target would be right here, okay? And your stop loss would be, I, I don't know why I keep doing that, you guys. Ignore me here. Um, ignore me in this video that you're watching about me telling you guys something. That's how it should look. You don't wanna see it in chop or in a downtrend, all right? A lot of people are going to say, oh, okay, here is a cup and handle reversal pattern and it could end up being a reversal pattern but it's not really technically a cup and handle okay um, cup and handles are going to be continuation patterns um, so you might see this and in a downtrend a lot of times these actually will fake up and then go down or they'll just straight reject and go down lower anyway. So they don't work very well in downtrends. Um, I've seen it wrongly used a lot during these downtrends. So make sure that for your cup and handle, it is in a defined uptrend, okay? And it's gonna look just like this. We are in an uptrend, we get that rounded bottom, we get that really tight little drop here. It could look like a little consolidation here, okay? It could look like that, where you get your little channel here and it turns into a bull flag, which is also another continuation pattern. Okay, you get that initial breakout. And if you're trading the bull flag, you could technically trade that breakout up to the target. Okay, and of course, um, I have other videos where I talk about the target for those breakouts, so we won't get too far into that. Um, but for the actual cup and handle, you're always going to wait for this main resistance here to break out. 
And once you get your nice, preferably high volume breakout, you look for the retest. And again, your target is going to be drawn from the base here. And you're gonna put that on the breakout level, okay? Your stop loss is going to be below this low because what would happen here is if price breaks below the base of this candle, or sorry, of this uh, higher low, then that would invalidate it and you would actually have a local lower low and then it would probably you know fade back into this area. So that would be your very clear stop loss level. Now, of course, some of you may look for tighter stop losses. That's up to your individual strategies. But if we're just playing this as a technical pattern, keeping it nice and simple, these are gonna be the key aspects you're gonna wanna look at. And this is really going to be the easiest way and the most successful way to trade a cup and handle over the long run. So you guys, I found an example, and this is why we always wanna wait for our confirmation because you're gonna see here, we get a nice little uptrend, okay, on Bitcoin on low time frames. All right, so if we take our uh, trend line here, we're going to see we get this nice uptrend here. We get a rounded little bottom here, okay, which re rejects at that resistance. Now it's not perfect, um, but it's pretty close. And then you're going to see this uh, smaller little handle here, okay? And so if we would have gotten a breakout here, you could have had a potential long opportunity, which of course it rejected. Um, and that's why we wait for breakouts. So I thought this would be a great example. Um, but we're going to take from the bottom here, okay, from the lowest point here up to the breakout. So that would have been your technical breakout target. We would have set it up like this stop loss below here and our long target up here. And you can see that's a great two to one risk to reward ratio. So that is totally acceptable. Um, and if we had a breakout, that would have been a potential good uh, long entry for that cup and handle. So I don't have a ton of data personally for using an inverse cup and handle in downtrends. I can tell you that a lot of times you'll see something like this and in a downtrend, it'll basically be an inverse cup and handle, price action will act similar and it'll break down. Uh, more times than not though, in that situation, I just look for it to be a descending triangle, which would also be a bearish pattern. And I would look for the triangle and trade it as a triangle more so than a inverse cup and handle, just because I've honestly never really used it in a downtrend. I've always used it in uptrends because I found that in bullish markets, it is a very, very highly successful pattern when it's presented cleanly. Um, so I would definitely say anytime you're trading a bullish trending market, cup and handle could be one of your favorite tradable patterns. Thanks everyone for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna keep coming at you with more awesome educational video content.